Hey everybody, good morning, Mr. Engen here. Uh, I'm gonna go over a project that you're gonna do now for the next week, seven days. Um, you're gonna make a poster board for kids in class and kids at home. If you have poster board, great. If you don't and wanna use a piece of paper, that's fine. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna pick a concept that we've worked on this school year. Examples include multiplying fractions, dividing fractions, solving one-step equations, um, percent proportions, placing numbers on a number line, multiplying decimals, geometric figures, finding the surface area or the volume. That's got to be something, basically one of our lessons that we've learned. Then you're going to provide, here's an example, okay, of one I made. So as you can see, I colored, and I want to make this look good. Now I used, I have the definition, or what's called like the process. I chose dividing fractions for mine. And then if you look up here, the process, you could be a definition or a process. I put use the strategy stop, drop, and roll. Make sure to cross, simplify, and reduce my solution. That's what, that was a strategy. We use keep, change, flip. This was just an old strategy I used, an old one. So you have to have a definition or a process over here. Then you need to have examples. So I took an example and I went step by step here on how to divide fractions. We would write, if this was us now, we would do, our strategy would be keep, change, flip. Um, and then you see down here, I have common mistakes. So some common mistakes is the, flaps, the, <laughs> the fraction doesn't get flipped. Um, another common mistake is kids don't reduce answers all the time. Um, another mistake I've seen is that um, students have thought that they have to find a common denominator, which we don't do when we multiply or divide fractions. We do that when we add or subtract. And then, you know, I colored it and I tried to make it look appealing in some different colors. And so I'll have a rubric coming out soon, but you need to color the whole piece of paper. And then you need to have each of these components where you have common mistakes, you have examples, and you have either a process explanation or a definition. And as long as you have those three components to your project and color it, then you'll get all 60 points. So that's what we're working on. If you're not sure or have questions about what your topic should be, then please uh, message me and ask. Um, otherwise, also to get ideas, you can just think about think about our past lessons or you can go look at past lessons even. You know, we've done so much work with ratios, identifying ratios, simplifying ratios, again, fraction work, multiplying them, dividing them. So any topics that we've done, you can do this here. One step equations we just did recently and then we're going to hang them up in our room. So any additional artwork is obviously very much encouraged and the, you know, put, take your time and put effort into it and make it look good. And then we're gonna vote on the best posters. So kids at home, if you don't have poster board again, that's fine, you can just use paper. Um, and you will also, I forgot to add, you guys will also present your poster boards uh, to the class. And if you're at home, you'll just do it uh, on Google Meet. And um, so we'll do that. We'll have the whole week to work on it now. So please let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, hope you guys are doing fantastic.